Welcome to the channel. Today's topic is water. Let's go. By the end of this video, you will be able to find the list of uses of water, identify and the name the different sources of water, then describe the different method to purify water at home, define water pollution, and list some measures to avoid water pollution. Okay. As we know what is the most important resource found on our earth, it covers more than 2 by 3rd of the earth's surface and here the blue represent water and green represent land. Did you know that 60 to 75% of our body weight is cause of the water? Yes. And we know all living things need water to survive. So, what do we use water for in our daily life? Is water useful to us? Let's see. Yes, the uses of water here some like drinking, washing clothes. Here's some more watering plants, bathing, cooking. Did you know most of the animals enjoy being in a water? Yes. Because the water keeps their body clean and cool and also they need a water to survive. Yes. Or do you know that some animals live in a water because it's their home? Water is very important for us and we all need a water to live. Did you know where do we get water from? Let's discuss about sources of water. We get water from lakes, streams, rivers and ponds, you know. But where do the lakes, rivers, streams and ponds get water from? From rain, yes. The main source of water is rain. Did you know that the upper part of the mountains are covered with the snow? During summers, the snow melts and changes into the water and this water comes down in the form of the rivers and streams. Yes. Sources of water in a two form, as you know, surface water and underground water. So we find water on a surface of the earth this is called a surface water like sea lake river stream and second one is underground water some rain water seeps into the ground or soil it's called underground water yes as we know in villages they have a well tube well hand pumps all of them We know the water is one of the main natural substance found on earth for any living being to survive, you know. So in order to stay alive, we need a constant source of clean and pure drinking water. So nowadays, you know, because of the overpopulation and pollution, it can be very hard to get clean and pure supply to water. Kids, do you know? The water that comes to our house from the rivers, it's firstly collected in our tanks and purified. So at house, we get water from the taps. It may contain germs in it, you know. Here the way to kill germs present in a water. The first method is boiling water. So first, boiling water on heat source can kill any kind of germs that may be in a present in it. And this may reduce to chances of falling sick. But nowadays the second method is electric water purifier. It's connected to the taps to get water pure. Here one more water filter. Now we will discuss about water pollution. So water pollution is a pollution of the water bodies like lakes, rivers, stream, ocean. 
as well as in underground also so it happens when chemicals waste and other particles from the industries cause the water to become a harmful for all living being here some pictures of polluted water now we will talk about the measures to avoid water pollution so always pick up your trash especially when at the beach lake or river second one is scrap your plate clean into the trash and don't put grease into the kitchen drain and third one is avoid washing your car on the road cause as a soap from the washing car can run down on the street drain and cause water pollution and now fourth one is very important say pure and clean water as it's found in a very less quantity on earth so save water save life and everyone place to save water in every way now quiz time answer please in comment box in summer snow turn into and the main source of water is and well is an example of good luck please 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 remember the way to avoid water pollution If you liked our video please subscribe our YouTube channel thank you very much